Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to be learning how to make Charlie the Chick. This is going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make each row of the head, the body, the wings, the beak, and the feet. This is going to be a two-part video. The first part focusing on the head and the body, and the second part's going to focus on the wings, the beak, and the feet. So let's get into it. To begin, we need to collect our supplies. So today I'm gonna to be using baby snuggle yarn in yellow for the body and orange for the feet and for the beak. And for the hair tuft, I'm just gonna be using this paint box yarn. It's a size four yarn. You're also just gonna need some medium weight black yarn for details of the face as well as shaping the face. Other supplies that we're going to need is a crochet hook. I'm going to be using a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook today. We also will need a darning needle, a pair of scissors, some fabric pins, and a stitch marker. Now if you don't have a stitch marker, a strand of yarn will do as well. Now the stitches that we're going to need to know to complete this project is a magic ring, a single crochet, a slip stitch, an increase stitch, and a decrease stitch. If you're unsure of how to complete any of these stitches, we will link some tutorials in the description box below that will give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to complete those stitches before you complete this project. So let's get started. So we're gonna start with the head. And to begin row one of the head, we're gonna make a magic ring. So we're gonna wrap our yarn around. Like so. Now to begin, we're gonna create eight single crochets within the ring, making sure we're crocheting over both the yarn end and the main piece. So we're going to create eight single crochets into the ring for row one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to close our ring. And that is row one. Now I'm going to place my stitch marker. I personally like to use a strand of yarn because it it's just easy and it also helps me see all my rows that I've made previously because I'll just follow the um, yarn through. Now to begin row two, we're going to place an increased stitch in each of the eight stitches that we made in row one. So at the end of this row we're going to have a total of 16 stitches. So we're going to place an increased stitch, so a single crochet, and we're going to place one more stitch in that same stitch, like that, and then we're going to go to the next stitch. We'll place a single crochet, and then one more in that same stitch. You're going to complete this all the way along and do an increased stitch in each of these eight stitches and I'll meet you at the other side. Okay, and that is row two completed. We're now going to move on to row three. So for row three, we're going to do a single crochet in one stitch and an increase in the next stitch. And we're going to repeat that eight times. So we're going to place a single crochet in the first stitch and an increase stitch, so two single crochets in one stitch in the next. You're going to complete that eight times and your stitch count at the end should be 24. So single crochet in the next, increase in the next. Single crochet, increase. Now just do that all the way around and I'll meet you at the other side. Okay, on to row four of the head. 
we're going to place one single crochet in each stitch all the way around for a total of 24 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I'll meet you at the other side. Okay, now for row five, we're going to be doing a single crochet in the first two stitches after our stitch mark, so two single crochets, and then an increased stitch. So two single crochets and an increased stitch. So single crochet, single crochet, and then an increased stitch in this next stitch here. So two single crochets in that stitch. So a single crochet, a single crochet, and an increased stitch. You're gonna complete this all the way around and you'll have a total of 32 stitches at the end. So I'll meet you back here at the end of row five. Okay, so we've just completed row five. Now we're gonna move on to row six. Now row six through 10, so six, seven, eight, nine, ten. the next five rows, is gonna be one single crochet in each stitch. So we're at 32 stitches around, so you're gonna crochet in every single stitch for five rows. So I will meet you back here when we are completed row 10. Okay, so we have just completed row 10, and this is what we're looking like right now. Now, for row 11, what we're gonna do is we're gonna place two single crochets, so one in this stitch and one in this stitch, and then we're gonna do our decrease stitch. Now I like to do the in invisible decrease, so you're grabbing the front loops only. So we're gonna do a single crochet and a single crochet and then a decrease. So grab this front loop and this front loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. Two single crochets, one, two, and a decrease stitch. Now we're going to complete this all the way along, and at the end of this row, you should have 24 stitches. So I will meet you at the other side. Now we're on row 12. So for row 12, we're going to do another decrease row. So we're going to do a single crochet and a decrease stitch. A single crochet and a decrease stitch all the way around. And once you're completed row 12, we'll meet back here. Okay, so that is row 12 complete. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna place our eyes and we're gonna stuff our head before we continue on to the body. So when placing the eyes, I usually like to use my stitch marker on the side as my guide. So usually that's the side of their face and this will be the front. So I like to place my eyes like that. So we're gonna place our eyes on row seven and eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So right between here, we're gonna place one, You can also embroider eyes on if you prefer that. So there's one eye. Now for the second eye, we wanna have six stitches in between each eye. So one, two, three, 
four, five, six on the same row. So we want to place our second eye right here. Like that. Just make sure it looks right. It's on the same rows. One, two, three, four, five, six before you secure it on the back. Okay. So there are our eyes secured. Next, we're gonna put on our fiber fill. Now, how much you fill your stuffy is really gonna be preference dependent, I think. Um, you wanna make sure that you're putting enough stuffing in that um, you're maintaining the shape, but you don't want so much stuffing in that it's hard. Um, I think a good um, rule for this is that um, if you notice that your stitches are starting to, to spread out too much and you can see stuffing through them or holes forming, you've stuffed too much. So what I like to do is I like to just put in a little bit and I like to kind of bring it out to the sides so that the whole head is stuffed. And then I just like to put a little bit more in the middle where I moved everything. And we can also add a little bit more as we go just to make sure we're getting the correct shape of the head that we want. So I'm just gonna leave it at that for now. And we're gonna move on to row 13, which is also gonna be the final row of our head. Now in this project, we're moving directly from the head to the body without tying off. So they're gonna be one solid piece. So to start row 13, we are gonna place a decreased stitch in every single stitch in row 13. So, I'm going to place a decreased stitch. So at the end of this row, we should have eight stitches left. Three, four, Five, six, seven, and eight. And that is the head complete. Now we're going to move down to the body. Like I said, this is all going to be one piece. So we're going to be working directly from row 13 of the head. So for row 14, we're going to do an increased stitch in each stitch. So we should have a total of 16 stitches at the end. So one single crochet and a single crochet right back in single crochet two. So an increased stitch in each of the eight stitches we had left. So we're basically opening up our um, for our body. And I'll meet you on the other side. Now, if you're um, needing a little bit more stuffing, I know this hole is a little bit small, but I usually like to just add a tiny bit more stuffing if I need to, if I find that my um, the head isn't quite stuffed to my liking, now would be the, the best time to do that before we move further into the body. For row 15 of the body, we're going to do a single crochet and an increased stitch. So a single crochet and an increased stitch. A single crochet, increase all the way around. At the end of this row, we should have a total of 24 stitches. Increase. And I'll meet you back at the other side. That is row 15 complete. 
Now onto row 16, we're gonna place one single crochet in each stitch for a total of 24 stitches. So row 15, or row 16 is single crochet 24. Okay, we're now onto row 17. For row 17, we're gonna do three single crochets and an increased stitch. So one, two, three, and an increase. So two stitches in one. One, two, three, and an increase stitch. Now at the end of this row, you should have a total of 30 stitches, and I'll meet you at the end of row 17. Now for the next seven rows, so for row 18 to 24, we're gonna complete 30 single crochets in each stitch around. So we're just gonna complete one single crochet in each stitch for rows 18 to 24. And I will complete that off camera and I'll meet you back here for row 25. So we have now completed up to row 24, and this is what we're looking like right now. So for row 25, we are going to place three single crochets and a decreased stitch. So one, two, three, and a decreased stitch. One, two, three, and a decreased stitch. We're going to complete that all the way around for row 25, and at the end of row 25, you should have 24 stitches. So I'll meet you at the end of row 25. Now, starting row 26, we're going to place one single crochet in each stitch, so for a total of 24 single crochets along for row 26. So I will meet you at the other side of row 26. Now before moving on to row 27, we're gonna stuff our body. So again, just stuff with however much you feel is right. Just don't overstuff too much. Okay, now we're gonna move on to row 27. So for row 27, we're gonna place a single crochet and a decrease stitch. And we're gonna repeat that eight times. Decrease. Single crochet. Decrease. At the end of this row, you should have 16 stitches. Then I will meet you at the end of row 27. Now we just have one final row to complete, um, but before you do that, just make sure your stuffing is where you want it to be. I just wanna put on a little bit more, just to make sure that I have enough. Now for the final row of the body, we're gonna decrease eight times. So we're gonna place a decrease stitch. And a decrease stitch, and you're gonna complete that eight times. And at the end of this row, we will have eight stitches, and then we will close up our row and be completed with the body. So I will meet you back at the end of row 28. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to make a slip stitch into this next stitch here. We're going to take our scissors and cut our yarn. Yarn over and pull through. We're going to remove our stitch marker if you're using yarn. Now what I like to do is I like to take a smaller hook and I just like to go into the front loop and grab that yarn in each stitch all the way around. So you're going to grab it eight times. And then you're just gonna pull, and that's gonna close off your end. And then I just like to put my hook through and grab this yarn here, and just make a knot at the end to make sure it's really secure. And then we'll just weave in this yarn end, and that is the body completed, and the head. Okay, so now that we have completed the head and the body, what we're going to do next is we're going to shape the face. So this is going to basically bring the eyes in and it's going to just give the face a little bit of definition. So what we're going to need for that is um, some black. I use medium size for yarn, but it can really be anything you have uh, on hand and a darning needle. And we're going to thread that through. And basically what we're going to do is we're gonna insert our hook at the top of this eye as close as you can get to the eye. We're going to push it through to the other eye in the same spot, as close as you can get, like so. I'm gonna push it through, and you're gonna have two strands of yarn hanging off the eyes like that. We're gonna take our needle and now we're gonna put it down to the bottom of this eye, like that. And we're gonna push it underneath as close to the neck as you can get it. And we're gonna pull that through. Now we're gonna repeat that on the other side. We're going to insert as low as we can get and as close to the eye as we can get. I like to try and get underneath the stitch if I can. And then we're going to push. And now because this is going to be potentially seen, we're going to push it through the same hole like that. So we're just going to pull these string ends and it's going to bring in the eyes and create a little bit of a shape to the face. Now bring it in however much you want for your specific project and once you have it where you want it, you're just going to tie a knot in this black strand. And then we're going to just weave in that end. I need sharper scissors. Just gonna weave this end in. And there is our face. Now we, we wanna create some eye detail as well, if you want to. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to give him or her little eyelashes. So we're going to take our darning needle again with some more size 4 weight yarn. And we're going to insert over kind of on the side of the head. And we're going to insert right in the center of the eye on the side, the outside of the center of the eye. And again, the closer you can get, to the center the better. 
So we're just going to go right in beside the eye and then we're going to insert our hook or our needle two stitches over. And then we're going to push it through right back into that same spot that our, our black yarn was first put through. And that's going to create the first little out. And then we're going to go up one row and insert our hook right here. And then you can either put it back into where it was before or you can push it to the other side. So that's one eye detail. So now we'll just push it over to the other side. Just want to get it as close as possible. And we're going to go two over, back into that same hole. And then we're going to go up one and over so that we're right above. And then we're going to push it through to the other side where we started. And then we're going to just tie our yarn ends together. and then just weave them in. And now we have our two little eye lashes on our chick. That is part one complete. Don't forget to check out part two so you can complete the rest of Charlie.